Namaste. In the previous video, we have seen the formula to find out interest in a recurring deposit account. In this video, we will see the derivation of the same formula. Let rupees P be deposited every month for n months at the rate of R percent per annum simple interest. The money deposited in the first month remains in the account for n months. So interest will be calculated for n months. In the second month, the money deposited will remain in the account for one month less. So interest will be calculated for n minus one months. For the third month, interest will be calculated for n minus two months. And it goes on similarly for the entire time period. For the last nth month, interest will be calculated for only one month as the money remains in the account for one month. Using the formula for simple interest, for the first month, interest will be P into R into N upon 100 into 12. Similarly, for the second month, interest will be P into R into N minus 1 upon 100 into 12. For the third month, interest will be P into R into N minus 2 upon 100 into 12. And for the last month, interest will be P into R into 1 upon 100 into 12. So the total interest is the sum of all the following interest. In the simplification, we can take out the common factors P into R upon 100 into 12. So the left part is n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus up to 1. Or we can rewrite this as P into R upon 100 into 12 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. So this is the sum of first n natural numbers. And it is given by the formula n into n plus 1 by 2. So the final formula for finding the interest in a recurring deposit account is P into n into n plus 1 into R upon 2 into 12 into 100.